Welcome to live to place.com best e-learning portal for IIT JE NEET and foundation. Hello students in this video I will discuss how to calculate the composition of liquid mixture in a solution by using Raoult's law for the vapor pressure of a solution. The problem says that vapor pressure of pure liquids here we have A and B there are these are the two pure liquids are 450 and 700 mm Hg respectively. Here you can see that vapor pressure of each liquid is given means here we have P naught A value and this is P naught B value. At 350 K this is the temperature given and question asked to find out the composition of liquid mixtures if total vapor pressure means this is the total vapor pressure of the solution is 600 mm Hg. And this is another part is given find the composition of vapors uh, composition of vapor phase now let's do the first part it is talking about uh, to calculate the composition of liquid mixture well here you can see that total vapor pressure of the solution is given and say according to Raoult's law Raoult's law says that vapor pressure of the solution is equal to the vapor pressure of individual components in the solution therefore p is equal to there are two components in the solution a and b so therefore we get p a plus p b this is the setup we get now here we have p naught a and p naught b means vapor pressure of individual liquid is given in the solution and so Raoult's law states that the vapor pressure of a component in a solution is equal to the vapor pressure of the component in pure state multiplied by mole fraction then by the, this law we can write the expression here we have P A is equal to P naught A and X A that is P naught A is the vapor pressure of component A in its pure state multiplied by the mole fraction of component A. Similarly we can write the expression for P, P B that is vapor pressure of component B in the solution is equal to P naught B into X B this is the setup we get. And when we add the vapor pressure of component, each component, uh, component in the solution that will be equal to 600 mm Hg that is the vapor pressure of the solution. Now let's add up here we get uh, if we add here we have P A plus P B is equal to P naught A X A plus P naught B and X B. And we know that the total mole fraction of components in a solution is equal to 1. There are two components therefore the mole fraction of A plus mole fraction of B will be equal to 1. Here we have XA plus XB is equal to 1 and from this concept here we can get XB is equal to 1 minus XA and so it will help us in simplifying this expression. Here we have P naught A and XA plus P not B in place of X B we can use 1 minus X A 1 minus X A. Now we can simplify it here we have P not A and uh, here we get X A plus P not B minus P and we can say open the bracket here we have P not B minus uh, sorry it is X A. Now we can take common of X A as a result here we get X A bracket P not A minus p naught b and plus this uh, we have p naught b this is the set of we get this one is equal to p here we have p that is the vapor pressure of solution now we can plug in the values p value is known that is vapor pressure of solution p naught a and p naught b values are also given in the problems they these are the vapor pressure of individual component in its pure state now we can plug in the values p that is the total vapor pressure of the solution 600 mm Hg. Here you can see that all are uh, given in say, mm Hg means we don't need to uh, do unit conversion we can use same values. Here we have 600 600 is equal to xa value here we no xa we have to find it this is the only component is going to be unknown in this setup. P naught A is 450 and P naught B is 700 let's plug in the values here you have 450 and minus it is 700 and plus 700 now we can transfer this value on left side so as a result here we get uh, uh, 600 minus 700 is equal to xa 
and we can subtract these values and so 700 minus 450 it will be 250 because it is 700 is greater than 450 then we get a negative value here we have 250 now here we get minus 100 and on right side we get minus 250 xa minus minus will cancel out and here we have xa is equal to we can so transfer this value on left side here we get 100 upon 250 and you can divide these values 100 100 is divided by uh, 250 we get 0 0.4 something yeah 0 0.4 0 0.4 this is the mole fraction of component a in the solution now we can calculate the mole fraction of b in the solution because we know x b is equal to 1 minus x a and so we can plug in this value 1 minus x a value is here 0 0.4 and it gives us 0 0.6 now xa and xb value is known and the vapor pressure vapor pressure of uh, individual component in its pure state also known so here we can plug in the values and we can calculate the vapor pressure of each component in the solution now let's uh, let me write it here uh, will be easier because formula is also here P, pa is equal to p naught a value is 400 no sorry it is 450 here we have 450 multiplied by xa and so xa value we have already determined that is 0 0.4 here we have multiplied by 0 0.4 0 0.4 now you can multiply these values 0 0.4 is multiplied by 450 and it gives us 180 it is 180 a unit is going to be mm hg similarly we can find out pb value also pb value is equal to p naught a is 700 it is given in the problem multiplied by xb xb value is 0 0.6 here we have 0 0.6 0 0.6 we can multiply these values here we have 700 is multiplied by 0 0.6 and it gives us 420 420 and it is mm hg and if you add these values you can see that if you add both values it will give us 180 plus 420 is equal to 600 that is the total vapor pressure of the solution here it is given it means that we are on the right path now in the second part the question says that also find means calculate the composition of vapor phase it means that we are going to calculate the mole fraction of each liquid in vapor phase so here uh, in case of uh, liquid A, here we can see mole fraction, mole fraction of uh, liquid A will be the vapor pressure of uh, liquid A upon the total vapor pressure. Vapor pressures, here we have the vapor pressures is 180 and uh, upon total vapor pressure means uh, the vapor pressure of A and plus vapor pressure of B in the solution. Here we have 180 plus uh, it is 420 these values I just PA plus uh, PA plus PB let me write the formula here it will be easier to understand PA is equal to PA plus PB now we can simplify it 180 upon here we have 600 and so you can divide the values uh, 180 is divided by 180 is divided by 600 and the value which we get 0 0.3 here we have 0 0.3 this is the mole fraction of uh, liquid a in the solution in vapor phase and now uh, either you can apply the formula mole fraction of uh, b is equal to pb upon pa plus pb or you can also calculate mole fraction let me write it mole fraction of xb is equal to 1 minus xa xa value you have already calculated you can plug in simply 0 0.3 and it will give us 0 0.7 mole fraction does not have any unit because the same units are cancelled out you can see that how i calculated the composition of vapor phase and so i calculated the composition of liquid mixtures pa and uh, and pv values by using raoul's law thank you if you like this video please click the like button if you have any questions or suggestions please comment below 
For more updates on IIT JE or NEET exams, please subscribe to our channel to get lot of updates. Support us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. To sharpen your skills, please try out our test series on livetotalage.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.